Hey, good evening. Hey, tonight's the Bible verse art night, and I just wanted to forward you to the location in which you can look at all of our evangelistic images, not just on Facebook and Twitter, but also here. You can go to Watch and See, this drop-down menu, just mouse over it, go down here, Evangelistic Images, click, and then if you want to choose any of these pictures, click View Image, and you can scroll through with these guys. But hopefully tonight will go pretty well. My mom was an artist, so maybe some stuff rubbed off. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoy the week and this webcast. All right. Well, I think I'm all set up here. Welcome to another Tuesday night webcast. Sterling here, and this is our Bible verse art week. So I have right here on our website the Cross Allegiance Outreach images portion of our website here. Actually, let me scoot this and scoot that, and then, okay, hopefully that's a little more clear. Uh, I'm changing around the camera setup today, and uh, it's balanced ever so precariously. <laughs> so hopefully this won't fall, but otherwise I'll just readjust it, whatever. All right, um, we have a bunch of outreach images. Some of these were done uh, by some other, some random dude. Uh, some are done by a really sweet artist named Marius. You can go to his website, Panther Dynamics. Uh, others, let's see, others you can you can see uh, another artist, Raj. He's also awesome. But uh, yeah, you can check out these outreach images. <clears throat> It's just one way that, well, one, you can help us with Cross Allegiance if you have an artistic talent and you want to share with the world and uh, or I guess the world that we reach, uh, just let us know. We, we want to expand our outreach and we're at a point at which you know we're pretty much saturated in what we can actually reach out and do. So we need more people to help and uh, however the Lord wants you to help, uh, just let us know. You can go to our website, if you go to our website, you can just go to contact, contact us, and then um, you can just send a general message here. I'll have another tab here eventually for general message, but I thought it was a little redundant for now. So this will still go to our email address and will reach us. So uh, be like, hey, I want to help guys and gals cross allegiance this is so cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just send us a message and however God has gifted you uh, we can try to find out and discern a way you know you can help us and whether tangibly or not just uh, yeah we'll rely on him and God always does cool stuff so uh, it's always a joy to work for him uh, and to love him it's, it's we don't just we're not just supposed to be Martha's we're supposed to even more be Mary's okay so uh, let's see so Bible verse art week, I have paint.net open and you can use all sorts of tools, but um, like you have Photoshop and uh, I do have the disc for Photoshop. Uh, I guess one advantage here too is if you know someone at uh, any web design company and they're getting rid of old versions, sometimes they will sell at a discount. Uh, just make sure it's a legit disc, but, um, but either way, um, this is paint.net, this is completely free. If you go to uh, what is it? <clears throat> PDN something. Uh, just search, just go to Google, type in paint.net, and then it'll take you to the site. But it, you can put in all sorts of plugins and all that, and it's kind of neat. It's layered imaging. I know Marius uses GIMP a lot, and I think Raj does too, but uh, I do not use GIMP that much. And I don't really do these images all that much either. So a little bit of patience here, but hopefully this will turn out cool. Uh, but going through first, let's uh, go back to the website here. Let's go through a few of these uh, images. So let's see, watch and see evangelistic images. There we go. Okay, so the first one, Amplify Jesus, very basic. I mean, this can be an uplifting message, but preferably, you know, stuff like this where it's actually a Bible verse. Yeah, just a remembrance of what God has done and he's able to provide. And I'm going to also aim for a fairly mid-term, not a long-term goal, but 
I, I really want to get something on the side here, like we have the image here and then a little bit of a description. If you go to our Facebook, it's like that, where we put the image there and then there's a, a blurb about it or some uh, some short message that you know either either Marius or me will put. So uh, Marius or I will put. There we go, grammar. Um, <laughs> but Marius makes all sorts of cool. He's kind of gone to like a cell shading type vibe, I guess, on some of these, but um, but yeah, this one's by Raj. Yeah, this one's cool. He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. So the enorm uh, the the enormous scope of creation. <laughs> all right, let's see. This one's cool. I'll bless the Lord at all times. This prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah, really cool. Created me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. This is one of my favorites, uh, just in terms of the color scope. Um, there's some, th this is a simple one I made, but I, I just wanted something to put on social media that's just a gospel tract, and that's it. So we did this. So, yeah, dear God, I am a sinner. I repent of my sins, and I ask you to forgive me. I put my faith in Jesus. I believe he died from the penalty of my sins. Because he was without sin, he was a perfect sacrifice. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead and uh, from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit, and that only through Jesus can I be reconciled to God. I proclaim that Jesus is Lord, and I believe that he is the Son of God. I will walk in your ways and delight in your truth. I commit my life to you. I will follow your Son, Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen to that. I, I really like that, and just putting that out, it's just so blatantly just out there, just... <clears throat> complete statement of uh, faith in Jesus and, and just the basics, but uh, it's kind of reminding me of uh, 1 Corinthians 15, where the gospel is illustrated very briefly uh, by the Apostle Paul. So you have, let's actually just go there. Yeah. <clears throat> How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and then he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas or Cephas, and then of the twelve, or Peter, really. Um, so eyewitnesses, very cool. And it's interesting. The whole gospel is uh, is built on hey, there are people around you right now who can give you, who can bear witness of of the Savior rising again. Um, but yeah, Jesus died for our sins. He rose again, and he still, again, is alive today. He conquered death and hell. <clears throat> And only through him we can have everlasting life. So, yeah, I just wanted to put something out that's just evangelistic. So I did. Um, and hopefully you can use that. You can, uh, this one, it's, you know, the licenses are here. Um, most of mine here is just, you know, it's free to use and spread. Um, you you want to check the licenses before. We don't have any, like, you know, crazy copyright stuff and all that. But... Uh, like, for example, Marius really likes Creative Commons, and giving credit to whom credit is due is a really, you know, a biblical thing. And so, you know, not not stealing, not saying you made it yourself and all that. So um, some of these are Creative Commons by attribution. So if you use this, just say, you know, it's by Marius Oberholster of Panther Dynamics. Um, and then, or, you know, for Cross Allegiance or something like that. But uh, you have the full-size image here, the small image here. Interesting here with the Create in Me a Clean Heart. Like this is a little more uh, low res. You see the kind of grainy lines here. Um, it won't, it's not like that in the full size image, but this is, uh, yeah, uh, this is a condensed one, so people on mobile can also view these pretty easily. Um, yep. What else? This one's really cool. And if you if you saw our Facebook page, that's our our header right now. Love this. Um, it's, this one's probably my favorite of them all that Marius has done thus far, but uh, yeah, it's very true too. So this is just a, a brief set that you can look at. Um, righteous Steps. You know, whatever style you do it in. This is another one that I made a while back, but um, yeah, just whatever, whatever, you, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. All right, so... And that's very true. Let's uh, let's get to some new images, though. So I want this to be kind of just an illustration of, one, how you can help, as well as just a, a time of blessing and, uh, 
and it's a webcast. I don't always have to preach, so we'll have weeks like this as well in which you know we can do different things. So, um, <laughs> but this one's going to be a, more of an art week. So I have Paint.net here. Um, okay, so let's open in prayer because I'm going to need all the prayer I can get. Uh, <laughs> I also don't have my uh, my drawing tablet up here either. Um, I can do several without it. If I if I have to run and get it, I might have to run and get it, but uh, but we'll see. Well, let's let's pray. Father, thank you so much for just being a creative God and one who's created so much and so well. We praise you that you're an artistic Father, and uh, we just praise you that you are uh, creative and artistic and a great designer, the best engineer. Lord, we just praise you for just your work of creation. Uh, thank you so much for. Uh, giving us gifts as well. And Lord, I pray that anyone else out there who, who would like to contribute or help with Cross Allegiance as well would just uh, pray and seek you about it and, and see what would uh, an area of help they could be. Um, just uh, just bring that to light, Lord. And thank you so much for, uh, for your goodness, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, here we go. Okay, so... I took a few pictures. Uh, these will be a little bit easier, but um, hopefully these won't be cheap. Uh, let's see. Because, okay, I'm just taking pictures here. Was it this one? No, it's sand. There it is. Okay. So 006. Let's open it from there. That's a really high res. Um, that's a super high res. Wow. All right. <laughs> hmm. So what are some good verses about God's faithfulness reaching to the sky? Hmm. <laughs> and this is one thing, too, where uh, we, we open it up and we're like, okay, if you have any recommendations for Bible verses, let's see, faithfulness. Uh, Psalm 36. Wrong one. There we go. That's a pretty cool verse. Let's see what we can do with the text here. And not that small. I'll try to do a few cool things here. Maybe I'll... Uh, I got an idea for one. Um, okay. And I'm not going to use Calibri font. <laughs> uh, I might not want the same font size either, but something kind of airy. <sighs> I never can pick a good font. <laughs> this is my Achilles heel. <laughs> Like some of my friends say, Achilles tendon. This is my Achilles tendon. Um, well, this is a pretty simple one here, but I like the Pericles font. That doesn't have anything to, I don't know, <laughs> for like a Roman apodiatro or something. You could put that font on it. Oh, uh, I can't pick a font. That's a cool font, though. What do we do here? Oh, the control is... Not too functional. My faithfulness. I'm going to capitalize a T. My faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Let's see. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh man, that stinks. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to do this. Let's do another layer. All right, you can tell the rust is here. Wow. center it and 
I really don't, I don't know. It's a little anti-aliased at all. Yeah, it is. What is it just zoomed badly? It looks better there, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's worry about that in a little bit. Let's see what I can do with the layer though. Mm. I'll just do opacity. Opacity. <laughs> Alright, there we go, there we go. It's like a glow. We should render clouds on top of the clouds. Be legit. It's getting a little cooler. No. I think you can't read it now. Um, let's up this. I just don't want this to look new agey either. Cause it's just it's so easy for any cloud picture to look all weird. So I'm 365. Hmm. It's on the same layer. Why is it like that? So the glow did not apply, I guess. Oh boy. Well, that actually kind of looks cool though. I add a little more contrast. Okay, with something like that, you know, just a simple, simple thing like that, uh, I might want to kind of want to alter the background though. I just need to duplicate a layer. Let's see. Why is right click not working? Oh, yeah, right. Layers, duplicate. There. Huh. That's all edgy. I don't like that. Oh, no, it's not bad. Hmm. Doesn't look bad either. That gives it a little more contrast, but I want to be a little bit brighter. Okay, this is really simple now. Um, color dodge it. That's not bad either. You can really read that. Okay, so something like this would be kind of cool. Um, may not use this, <laughs> but that would be a cool idea. Maybe I should hand this off to Marius. But um, okay, so we got one. Let's try something different though too. Uh, okay, so I was thinking of okay. Maybe I'll just I'll, I'll surprise you with it. Yikes. All right, uh, here, here. All right, so we have a dark background. What do I want to do? This. Um, the noise you can't do on a black background. Let's do this. All right, so white background, you can add noise. Noise. I want it like that. Like four percent ish. Okay. Um so what do I want to do here? Oh yeah, I gotta select the noise, so did I really just Okay, I wanna delete that. Yes. Okay, so now copy that. Go over here. Paste this layer. 
Yeah, okay. Um, that's not zoomed the way I want, though. So it needs to be a little bit fatter so you can actually see. Um, zoom in a little bit. Oops, that's a rotate. Is it default? Yeah, sweet. Okay. Um, let's do like a two. Oh, I just hit the reset. <laughs> that's good. And then I want to add a little bit of a blur because it's a little too colorful. A little Gaussian. Okay, so what else? So we have a little bit of a star field here. All right. Let's do a like a no. That's that's I should probably do that. Like a dark gray and a, and a white and the clouds. This is gonna look like garbage for a second. Um, let's do that. Just do the layer. I think. What do I do? Multiply. I don't think it was additive. It definitely wasn't additive. I think it was just multiply and then duplicate layer. And make this a color dodge. Yeah. But it's still, um, I want this to be grayscale though, because it's a little like confetti ish. <laughs> it, looks a, like, it looks like a dark cloud party. Um, okay, so adjustments. There we go. Okay, so we have like a dark cloudscape. Um, what I want to do now, though, is let's do like a rounded rectangle, and just the shape fill. I'm gonna make sure I have the right color, but I don't want a complete white. But and that's the wrong way. So there. Okay. So you have something like. Okay, that's a cross. All right. So on this layer, I want to do a big Gaussian. Not that big though. Uh, still want to see it. But this needs to be bright. That's the thing. And duplicate on it. That's probably that's probably a little bit better. Hmm. Do I want to do anything else with it though? glow. Yeah, that adds to it. Okay, so now you can see the purpose of what I'm trying to make this for. Alright, let's go to the verse. I'm actually going to use the ESV because if you go to the Greek on this verse, the darkness has not overtaken it or has not overcome it. When the King James says comprehend, comprehend means something completely different back in the 1600s than it did now. So it's not like the darkness is like, duh, what is this? No, it's saying the darkness did not overcome it, so the light is still present. All right, so I need to change the font. Oh, my goodness. So something like the light shines in the darkness. I'm on the right layer. I might want to bring this layer down. It might look cool. I don't want to throw it in the background, though. Maybe I'll just uh, slam it down below everything else. We'll see. Light shines in the darkness. And the 
darkness has not overcome it. Let's get rid of this window. Let's make sure I'm centering stuff right. That's actually not a bad font for it, but um, I'm going to put the ESV because I'm not using the KJV on this one. Uh, but I do want to add like a some kind of slight blur to it because the rest of the image is slightly blurred. <clears throat> I almost want to add noise to this layer. Just add some noise. Oh, why did I throw the color set? Oh, that's why I saw all the speckled stuff. Just want the grayscale on it. I don't think that noise is good. <laughs> Behold, it was not good. Um. It's not that good. Like you don't want to throw in so much that you ruin it. That at least gives a little bit of a softer feel. Um, maybe a motion blur on this though. What? It does nothing. There it is. Okay. That's too blurry. I'll just leave it. Okay, so that's. That's one concept there as well. But that being John 1 5, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what I can do with this. So if I throw it a few layers down, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a whole lot better. Kind of has that Twilight Zone ish type feel. Not really what I need, but. Kind of stylistically cool. Light shines in the darkness, and the darkness is not overcoming. Cool. That's getting somewhere. Hmm. That's kind of cool. All right, it's getting somewhere. So uh, let me save a draft of that, and I'm just going to save it as a, a stock PDN. So cross allegiance. Oh, not outreach videos, but do this on outreach images. Uh, let's make a new folder for these two. Okay, so I did actually use the font here. I wonder if I can go back and do something here. This isn't bad, but it's just so generic. And sometimes simpler is, simpler is better. But eh, I'll probably revisit that one later. But this one looks kind of cool. I like that. That's more of like a... gets closer to a finished product. Okay, so what else? I guess with this one, too... I save this as a different one. So, like... If I delete the text layer here, there is a cool plugin. Let me get to a good layer here. I can modify it in a little bit. Uh, where is the menu? Effects. No, what is it? Render. Yeah, Planetoid. Huh? All right, this one's kind of cool. So you get like a dark red and it renders. It's just a plugin you can get. This is gonna where is it gonna preview on here? Oh, it's taking forever. Mm, it looks so hokey. <laughs> oh I don't like that. Uh like a darker red. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that was terrible. Um, but 
anyway, if you if it renders something like this, and then you know you have it as like, well, you know, Jesus, uh, Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> to remind you of the signs of the seasons. Um, if you move this down, hmm. some of that can look pretty cool too, but. You know, I don't want it to look hokey either. That's the thing. So, um, hmm. It's like Acts two twenty. Yeah, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the, that great and notable day of the Lord come. Yeah, that one. And there are also there are several other verses there too, but I don't know. Something like this would be cool. I'll save this for now, but this will probably be a, a project so I don't make it look all weird. Um, that is pretty cool, though. Let's see. What else? What else? Also with the planetoid one, so I thought about, well, okay, what am I gonna actually do? Um, let's do 600-ish. Okay, so if I do like a grayish, dark gray maybe Ugh, I don't like that though hide forests yes thank you hide mountains also <laughs> okay that's getting there so you got this like moon-esque type thing I wish that you could do a little more craterish type stuff. I would have to kind of do some uh, some color dodge or something like that, or some burn, um, or some texture of some sort. Um, <laughs> do a fractal on it. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> it doesn't look like the moon at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, oil painting might. It might be cool to stylize it like that. And then you could uh, essentially slice this in half. Let me save progress so far. Moonish. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to take like there to there, cut that. Go back to my other image. Um, let's do this background. Make sure it's transparent. And then go here and edit. Okay. So then you have D. I don't want white for this one. Oh, where's my color? Hmm. How do I get back to my color palette? Uh. You know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Google. Color palette paint dot net. open color palette. Thank you. I'm not the only one asking. Ooh, reset window locations. Really? There's no window menu. Oh, here, look. Ha, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, let's undo that and then do this. Oh, right, right, right. That's selected. That's why it's doing it. Uh, 
and then you have day and then you can go back and make a new one actually planets making those planets sun Ooh, that's like green there land needs to be like blau no, this is bright. I have to do some crazy stuff with the corona. This is stock yellow. Ooh, what happened there? Uh, what? Light intensity, yes. I want the yes setting. Oh, that's a whole lot better. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I need to make it look all fiery, though. So I need to add, like, a glow or something. Oh, not like that, though. Brightness. Ah, it's getting there. Man, that's so close, though. Why is it so dark on the edges? Why did I let it get so dark on the edges? <laughs> oh, that's so close. Well, I need to adjust the brightness on this first, I think. <sighs> okay, adjust. Brightness. Ugh, it's just so dark on the other side. It's not going to be like that in real life. Glow, glow, glow. Not like that. I liked it better the other way. <laughs> Let's undo that and then just glow. Man, why is it so dark on the edges, though? with contrast, but... Mm. <laughs> oh, this is a bummer. Okay, come on. Okay, so let's just... This is something simple like this. Oh, whoops. And then for a background, just do the stars. So you have day four. Man, I wish I could do the sun better on that. This is supposed to be the moon and the sun. <laughs> this is not like a big ball of huge, immense, fiery gas that the sun is. There's no corona here. Um, Maybe like a navy-ish type. What? Oh, wrong one. I need like a shadow, like a copy the layer. Did it? No, no. Duplicate layer. Thank you. And then this one is going to be a little bit over here and the brightness on it's gonna be like crazy adjust brightness yeah
Yeah, it's getting really dark. Let's do normal. And then on top of that, we gotta do the noise thing again. Yeah, copy that. Same noise. Yeah! That's cool. That's cool. I just need to make this a little more contrasty. And this probably needs to be a little blurred. Which one? That guy. No, this one. So it's a little softer. Not like that, though. That's kind of cool. Not sure I should use black as the font. The other option is, though, I could do something a little brighter. If I change this over here, and then I rendered clouds. Yeah. Or even like a purple. Try not to be like Bob Ross here. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool. Alright, so do another layer. And then Genesis 1. Is it 16? Don't want to put it there though. I could just do a reference set 14 through 19. Yeah. But the, uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way, either way. We can do the whole thing 14 through 19. Let's change that. Let's see if this fits. Oh yeah, here. <laughs> uh, duplicate. That's the wrong way. Something like that. Maybe add a tiny bit of blur. Mm. Let's just mess around with stuff. That looks cool too. <laughs> You can do a lot of stuff with this, but... Oh, that looks really cool. That doesn't look like the universe anymore, though. Um, that's kind of cool, though. Um, I'm, I'll save that. So, day four. Okay, so, so far, maybe... I need to edit that a little bit. 
we also had that one. I still like that one. I think that's cool. And I still use that same font. Making sure I spelled it right too. Okay. That looks kind of cool too though, but yeah, again, I'll just have to edit that around. What if I flatten this whole thing? Make sure, okay, it is saved. Uh, layers flatten all. How do I do that? <laughs> Not like that. Deselect. Okay. Uh, what else can I do, though? Julia Fractal. Okay, that's not cool. Uh, that's not cool either. Well, it is cool, but not in the way I want. <laughs> Oil painting. I don't think the effect's loaded yet. Does look kind of cool though. Edge detect. Uh, outline. <laughs> it's not not getting it. That didn't do much. And of course, I can change the color pretty easily. Oh, that's kind of neat too. Oh, that is pretty cool. Make it all bright. Now it looks like the sun. Uh, it looks like lava. All molten. Just make it loop through. Whee! <laughs> yeah, okay. But, alright, so that's, that's a cool start. Um, what else was I thinking? Psalm 89.9. Yeah, the waves. Okay, so... Um, where did it go? Let me try to find this one. I screenshotted this one. Alright, there's a directory. Which one was it? It was... 233. Thirty-six. Okay, thirty-six. All right. Here are some of the. I went to the beach last week just to take a day off work and get away. But one of these. But that one. Yeah, that one is really cool. You got like the horseshoe shape type thing. Um. Open with Paint.net. Okay, this is another. Oh, that's only nineteen twenty by ten eighty, right? Because it's from the video. Okay. Um. Okay, now that I can hide that, that's good. Um, I kind of want to uh get a more modern read on this too. for this at all. That's kind of a cool font. And if you're cringing because I'm bad at font selection, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never been great at choosing a font for stuff, but 
having that as a margin. And then this probably needs to be a white, or at least some kind of matching color. Yeah. Oh, I'm still in the background, though. Oh, that's no good. Oh, come on, man. Rookie mistake. You rule the swelling of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. Trying to find a spot for this. Uh, that's too far away. I need to move it a little bit. What did I just do? Wait, it just did a Gaussian on it? No. Deselect. Really? Control F is Gaussian blur? Wow, that's dangerous. Luckily, there's Control Z for undo. This is. I, I like this one. I like that one. That's cool. That's pretty simple. I think just straight up, that looks good. Package it up! <laughs> Alright, cross allegiance. Reach images. Still the waves. Well, that is cool, so... So this is what we have so far. So that's cool. That's interesting. <laughs> I like that one still. That one's cool. So we got some prospects here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You see I'm comparing the translations there. All right. Um, But yeah, if you want to help in any way in contributing video, music, art, Bible verse art, whatever the case, you know, let us know. Again, uh, we want to put a message with this too. And again, we're going to give credit to whom credit is due and with the right license type and all that. Um, but what else? Yeah, if you want to do that, <laughs> contact us. And uh, just general message, that type of thing. I like that. Uh, I changed the, the CSS effects on some of this. So, um, Also on the videos page, I added this stuff. So kind of rocks back and forth. But uh, just something simple. But again, just let us know. Also, if you have a prayer request or praise report, we pray on Tuesday nights also. And uh, we'll keep these in prayer throughout the week. The only thing required is your name. If you don't want any details, that's fine. But we recommend putting an email too so we can email you back. This isn't going to be shared online or to some list or whatever. It's just we want to email you back and pray for you. Um, it goes to our email directly and then we can reply. And Yeah, and pray for you there. But we will pray for you. And if you have a praise report or an update to a prayer request, feel free. We want to know how things are going and... Uh, if God grants you a total delight, then yeah, feel free to share it with us. Yeah, pretty cool. We got an updated prayer newsletter coming up here. That we're going with MailChimp. It um, 
it turns out that okay if you if you have a bunch of blind carbon copies so BCCs on your emails uh, and we didn't want to you know make our, our list public and all that but and to everyone we were sending the newsletter to it started to become so big on the BCC list that we were being dropped in the spam folder of some people's inboxes and so the options there well we want to we want to keep that email for one-on-one -on -one interaction but we're going with with MailChimp here so that's the reason for this where you know you got to subscribe via MailChimp but uh, just saying here this is just an explanation of that as we want to have both avenues of outreach and so <clears throat> uh, every few weeks or every month or so uh, I'm wanting to get these newsletters out just so you know how you can pray for us specifically and any updates to our ministry any new features that we have because I'm adding stuff constantly to the site and uh, and when I'm not Chris is doing it and yeah, we just want to get the word out and get more content up make this a beefy ministry site so that we can uh, we can reach the world and reach it well and reach it with the full gospel and hey maybe just get all of the Bible on there get a Bible verse for every verse ever <laughs> get a good Bible verse art for every verse ever we got 31,000 plus verse uh, verse art pieces <laughs> that would be crazy I'd have to reorganize stuff but um, yeah just let us know how you want to help out and that's about it uh, I'm, I'll close in prayer because it's almost nine o'clock but uh, again, just hope you enjoyed that and hope it was a kind of relaxing little time and we can get some Bible verse art out there. And remember, Jesus is returning soon. Tomorrow is supposed to be a blood moon and let that be a reminder of the sovereignty of God and the power of God, as well as the, our need to be ready. Always need to be ready. So let's pray. Father, thank you that you do rule the swelling of the sea, and Lord, you're just an amazing and wonderful creator. Thank you for being a God who listens to our prayers as well. Just pray for everyone who's on this webcast and everyone who watches this in the future, that Lord, you would just bless them and show, show yourself mighty to them, make yourself real to them in a very personal way, and God, just help us love you more and more. I pray for those who are sick, Lord, bring, he bring healing, Lord. I pray for those who are struggling in life, Lord, I pray that you would grant them strength in their weakness. I pray that those who are lonely, Lord God, you would provide uh, companionship and, uh, and friendship and spouses and, uh, and just provision for those who are lacking. God, just be their shepherd and let them not want in any way. Father, I just pray for you to provide for uh, the needs of all these people. And Lord, let them have uh, just open eyes to see that you are the, ones, uh, you, you're the one who, <clears throat> who provides for them. Lord, you are mighty, and again, you are the one who rules the swelling of the sea, and I just praise you for that. Thank you, Lord. Bless our weeks. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was fun and a, a, a change. <laughs> but next week, uh, I think we're going we're gonna to go back to some, some teaching and uh, get in the words some more. So, yeah, always remember crossallegiance.org and if you want to help again let us know so god bless you and yeah have a great week